Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another PlayStation review. Today's review is for Snooker 19, um, and this is available on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, and all the footage you are seeing is from PlayStation 5. Now, Snooker 19 is a game I have my eye on for quite some time. Um, it's just come in the sale right now on the PlayStation Store, well, a, a, certainly a couple of days ago anyway. And it's one I've wanted to get for a while when I've seen it for a decent sale price. Now, my history with snooker games is quite varied, to be honest. I have, I've always been like an armchair fan of snooker in general. I grew up in the 80s sort of thing when snooker was hugely popular. Steve Davis, Dennis Taylor, Stephen Hendry, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, it was really quite entertaining to watch i used to even watch it on a black and white tv when i was a kid that's how much i like snooker at that stage um and i go as far back as playing like the jimmy white world wing uh, snooker games um many years ago and also the snooker games that i believe code masters used to put out many many years ago so i have played my fair share of snooker games um, and those of you who know me and know my channel know that I am forever in search of really chilled out and relaxing games. And you can't really get more chilled out and more relaxed than games like this, really. Now, what do you get with Snooker 19? Well, <laughs> we'll get on to how the game plays in a bit. Um, we'll talk about the features and the modes here, which I think, if I'm being honest, is fairly bare bones, I think. I mean, there is... Um, there's like a basic, you know, quick match mode. Uh, you can play online matches, uh, online single matches or tournaments if you want to do that. Um, and then there is like a practice mode uh, and then there's a career mode. Uh, but there's also a challenge mode, but unfortunately you have to pay extra for that. That's like DLC, the challenge mode. And apparently in the challenge mode there are over 50 challenges and rewards like extra new queues and things like that. I've looked at the price for the challenge mode. I think it's something like five or six pounds. Um, I'm not going to buy it because, to be honest, the challenge mode doesn't really interest me at all. Uh, but it's an option if you guys are really big fans of snooker and you want to experience the challenge mode. I think, to be fair, I think the modes are pretty bare bones here. You can't even, and I think this is the most disappointing thing about this game, is you can't even create your own snooker player from scratch um if, when you go into the career mode if that's your choice you've got two options you've got like um you can either choose to be like uh, a, a a seasoned player and enter the pro season tour or you could choose like a rising star uh, a real rookie who's a real player or certainly presuming the real players they certainly appear to be um, and then you've got to like start right at the bottom of the rankings and rise up uh, as a future star in snooker I chose that one, uh, the Rising Stars option, uh, and then I chose my character and I started going into the snooker schedule, I suppose, the snooker calendar, and it feels pretty good actually. What you essentially do is you will enter like, because you, cause you're like a low ranking player, you have to qualify for most events, so you, there's like a qualifying event, and then if you make it through the qualifiers, then you're entered into the event, either then or at a later date. Um, and then you just kind of go through the snooker calendar and try and work your way up the, up the rankings. Now, there is a basic tutorial uh, to start you off in the game, but like I said, there's, there's practice modes as well. So, um, to be honest though, I actually found this game remarkably easy to pick up, learn and play. Um, it's quite simple to do. Uh, the cue action's pretty simple. You kind of choose what direction you want to put the ball, choose what spin you want to put on it and then the power of the shot all that kind of stuff and then the more difficult the shot the more precise you need to be you've got to put like uh, what, what you do eventually learn if you put like a certain spin on it it will go in a certain direction the cue ball and things like that and it takes some getting used to and for the first two or three hours you'll find yourself basically getting beat a lot but you do learn the game and then eventually you'll start putting larger and larger breaks together. Now I've I've put I've been playing this for a number of days now, on and off. And the highest break I've got up to so far is in the low seventies, which I don't think is too bad for a game. I've not been playing that long. Um and I've started to rise in the rankings. I started off like way down in the mid hundred and twenties. Um and I've worked my way up to like just 
I've just cracked the top 100 now. So you do start cracking the rankings. Uh, you, stu you do start learning how to play the game. And that's the best part of the game is the actual snooker. The mechanics feel really good. R the sounds are all perfect. The cue action feels really, really good. Uh, it's the, easily the best part of the game, the, the snooker mechanics here. And I think fans of snooker here will really appreciate the simulation style um, presentation of the game. You get like a little introduction to the players. Uh, there's some nice commentary going on. It's very quiet commentary, just kind of the odd comment here and there. And a comment if it's a good shot or if it's a bad shot, that kind of stuff. And for those of you who are fans of snookers, there's a lot of recognisable faces in there. You've got your Ronnie O'Sullivan's and John Higgins and all that kind of stuff. And pretty much, um, if you really are a big fan of snooker, you probably recognise far more than that. I haven't followed snooker for a number of years, but I do recognise quite a few of the names here. So while it does feel fairly bare bones here, this game, I have to say, once you get into it... Um, it's quite addictive gameplay loop um, because you want to learn how to get better at it. Um, it does get a little bit frustrating early on when you when you just can't figure out the shots brilliantly, but it it does kind of settle into a routine where you kind of learn the best way to do shots and things like that, and it it becomes much easier, much quicker than you might imagine. Um, and for me, that's been the best part of the game. The, the, the frames, depending on how good your opponent is or how good you are um, can last a fair amount one frame and you can choose to approach it in like um, a realistic approach so you can have like longer um, tournaments so you like you know it might be the best of I don't know um, five or ten frames or you can have them shorter sessions so it might be the best of one or three frames I chose a shorter because you don't want to be in one match forever because it could take a decent amount of time to uh, finish the matches and certainly finish a frame it could take sometimes a good half an hour to do one frame um, but overall I'm having a fun time with this game fans of snooker will really enjoy it um, it is a decent price in the sale I would never have paid full price for it because I do think it is a little bit bare bones in its approach um, to the modes and things like that and it is disappointing that you can't create your own player I don't understand why they didn't, didn't put that in and there doesn't really feel to be any real progression with your character. You just win tournament money and you can customise how your character looks in a sense of you can change the clothes they're wearing and the cue they use and things like that. Um, so, yeah, worth picking up in a sale if you're a fan of snooker and you're a fan of chilled out games. You will certainly have a relaxing time playing this game. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Definitely worth checking out if those things I've mentioned sound like this might be a game for you. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you found the review useful, and I will be back, of course, with plenty more reviews on the channel very, very soon.